Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, somebody asked me if um, x86 or x64 is in danger with what's coming with the ARM processors. And of course, we talked about the uh, Snapdragon processors that are very powerful. And um, of course, they are the first PCs that are Copilot plus PC branded and have AI. So um, they are the first also to get the recall feature because of their power. Now, what's interesting is we don't have much numbers. So starting from the beginning, a lot of you might be saying, What's, what does it mean x86 or x64? Okay, so basically, uh, when we refer to x64 or x86, we refer to two types of, uh, two, two brands of processors. If you go and check out the, um, the info in the task manager on your PC, you will go into the CPU uh, tab in the performance. And the CPU is, for most of you watching, and I mean most is like almost everyone, a, either a Intel or an AMD. And they are based on an architecture that we call x86. It's a PC architecture that's as old as the PC itself. Um, it now is x64 because we are 64 bits machines now. And these are what is dominant and what was running our PCs forever. Now, there's a little side story that, yeah, for many years, there is something that's called ARM. And there were, you know, PCs running Windows on ARM, but it was okay, nothing more. And it was totally incompatible with x86 or x64. The reason uh, we love our x86 and x64 is it runs any software. For a long time, ARM didn't. It had its own architecture that you had to have special reprogrammed software f in order for it to work. Uh, one big example of the probably the biggest flop that should not have been is the Windows RT tablets. When Windows RT came out, people bought those saying, oh, look, they're inexpensive and uh, they, look, they look nice. The problem is Windows RT ran on ARM and was incompatible with anything. So People went to install Google Chrome, for example, and it's like, well, I can't. No, you can't. It's not a PC with x64 or x86. It's not compatible. So, of course, the question is, can ARM eventually beat x64 or x86? One thing for sure, it's a very long way off. Um, could it happen? You know, in PC technology, anything can happen. Someday, yeah, maybe it could, maybe not. Maybe it will be just, and that's what my thinking is, it's always going to be part now of the mainstream, meaning that now we'll have X6, X64 processors and we'll have the ARM processors. But the ARM processors today, the Snapdragon Elite, for example, are so powerful that they actually can imitate x64 or what we call emulate. So that means that the software you use will be compatible with those machines, even if the processor is different, because there will be a form of emulation. But we don't have any numbers, you know, and that's that's something I'd like to know. For example, um, how many Copilot plus PCs were sold with Snapdragon? XLE processors. I'd like to know. Uh, we don't have numbers. I don't think it's that high of a number, personally. But it'd be interesting to see how much are sold of those PCs versus standard X64, X86 PCs. So this is something to look for. But one thing for sure is the death, because I've seen some people say, oh, well, now finally it's the death of X86, X64. Really not. Intel has a lot of very powerful processors coming up. AMD also, uh, both with AI. I think this is very, very young technology right now on the ARM side, the way we're doing it. Um, I think we're far from being 
you know, a, from being a big competition. Could it eventually be competition? It's not impossible. But for now, I don't see the death of x86, x86 x64. Uh, really not. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.